Hello, my name is Nicole, and this video is about understanding horizontal skew in options trading. Last Thursday, we witnessed a sudden, fast, and deep sell-off in Tesla after an explosive feud between Elon Musk and President Trump unfolded on social media. Tesla's stock price fell over 17% at one point during the trading session, wiping out over $15 billion in market value. This created a perfect textbook example of horizontal skew in action. So first, let's talk about what horizontal skew is. Horizontal skew, also known as term structure skew or time skew in options trading, refers to differences in implied volatility across options with the same strike price but different expiration dates. Let's hop into the trading platform here to see what we are talking about. I have Tesla pulled up and I decided to select the June 20th, 2025 expiration cycle to begin with and I'm going to highlight the 270 puts. And we can see here that at this expiration, the 270 puts here are trading at 97.75% implied volatility. Now, if I go out the next month to July 18, 2025 expiration, those same puts are trading at implied volatility of 75.82%. And if we look out beyond that, sticking with the monthlies, We'll highlight the 270 put for August 15, 2025, and we'll see that that implied volatility is 73.58%. And let's just go out one more month into September, highlighting the same strike put option here in that expiration cycle, shows an implied volatility of 68.92%. So in this scenario, the implied volatility for the closer expiration cycles is actually higher, and the implied volatility goes down as you go further out in time for the same strike price. And in this case, it's the 270 strike price. And if we take a look at the chart here, we can see that um, at the time of this recording, it was June 5th, 2025. And you can see the dramatic sell-off there in Tesla on the day when uh, the rift between Elon Musk and President Trump got underway. So I went ahead and put the implied volatility values that we just discussed into graphical format. You can clearly see the front month or June implied volatility is elevated at 97%, while implied volatility declines steadily for later expirations. This indicates short-term risk or trader demand for protection. And this graphical format is called backwardation, when implied volatility is downward sloping. Now I want to review something called contango. Under normal market conditions, we see what's called contango. Longer dated options have higher implied volatility compared to the shorter dated options. And this makes sense if you think about it. More time equals more uncertainty, so traders demand higher premiums for longer exposure. Now let's take a look at the term structure here in the S&P 500 ETF SPY. Uh, to illustrate what contango might look like. And I'm going to select the 585 strike puts and go through the same exercise we did with Tesla. And that put has a implied volatility of 16.84. We're going to go out to the July expiration and check out what the implied volatility is for the same strike price put there. And we can see the implied volatility is 17.23% for that expiration. And let's check out what August holds here. And highlighting that one, we can see the implied volatility there is 17.97%. Let's just do one more. We'll head out to September and highlight that one. And we can see that the implied volatility for that 585 strike put is 18.67. So putting those implied volatilities into graphical format, we see a smooth upward slope in implied volatility from June to September reflecting gradually rising uncertainty as we move out in time. And this is a textbook example of normal term structure, which is called contango. So let's talk about how you might use this information through practical application. And for the purposes of this short video, we will focus on the cash secured put strategy. Let's go through a quick recap. In this strategy, you sell put options while holding enough cash to buy 100 shares per contract if you get assigned. It's a way to generate income while potentially acquiring stock at a discount. 
Traders often try to target Sully and Permian between 30 to 45 days to expiration in order to maximize time decay. However, backwardation can change this calculus. Traders may choose to sell shorter day put premium to capitalize on higher implied volatility. This often maximizes premium per day while you wait to see if you get assigned shares at your strike price. So let's revisit the Tesla example under the lens of we definitely want to be able to purchase 100 shares at 270 if it gets down there and we're willing to sell puts in order to achieve that goal. And we don't care uh, how long that takes. So I'm able to collect $12.75 for a put option with higher implied volatility that expires in 14 days. And if I go up further in time, 42 days, I'm able to collect $20.55. But the implied volatility is only 75% there. And if I go out to August 15, 2025, implied volatility falls to 73%, but I'm able to collect $27. but I have to wait 70 days for that to fully expire. And if I go at 105 days, I'm able to collect 3170, but from an implied volatility perspective, it's much less than if I sell the June 20th, 2025, which expires in 14 days. So when you calculate that, as far as premium you could stand to earn per day, uh, oftentimes the shorter duration expirations uh, are more attractive. So it's up to you, and it depends on your goals, but many traders in a scenario of backwardation are going to look to tighten up the expiration cycles in which they sell premium in order to capitalize on that heightened implied volatility. Now let's talk about managing risks. Here are some risk management rules that I like to use for backwardation. Remember, assignment risk is real. A trader should make sure they actually want to own the stock at the strike price if you get assigned in this particular scenario. This is a great way to generate income while potentially acquiring stock at a discount. If a trader can't clearly explain why there's backwardation, they may want to stay away. Unknown risks are some of the biggest risks in options trading. And be careful around earnings or major pending events. The backwardation might be completely justified, and the market might know something that you don't. Let's go over some key takeaways. Remember these key points. Horizontal skew reveals what the market expects about future volatility. Backwardation creates opportunities, but is also representative of increased risk. Traders often use horizontal skew to adjust expirations based on the term structure that exists. And always have a plan for assignment before you enter a trade. And remember, high premiums can mean higher risk. Size positions accordingly and never bet more than you can afford to lose. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and uh, be awesome.